Hi and welcome. In this video I want to give you a quick run through of how to use the amazing new AI presets that were added in the June release of Lightroom Classic. Now when installed they'll appear over here in the presets panel. Now these are my presets that I've, I've created especially for this project. And if you'd like to support my channel, then these presets are available to purchase from my website at a very reasonable price. Check out my website for more details of prices and how to order. Okay, let's crack on. Okay, here are my presets here. I've divided into four sections. So I've got objects, I've got vignettes, we've got landscape, and we've got sky. Now you don't need to actually apply a preset um, to actually see its effect. We can hover. So if we just hover over, you'll see the effect that each preset is having on your image. Is that not cool? Now this is really useful because it allows you to look quickly at options. You might find something as you're scrolling through that catches your eye that you hadn't thought of. And then you click to apply it. So let's say, let's go for, ooh, let's say a landscape one. And I'll just click on it and that's now been applied. Now, if you don't have the hover facility, it's probably not been, um, been set up in preferences. So all you've got to do is we've got to go to uh, edit on a PC or the Lightroom Classic menu and preferences to select the performance tab. So I'm on a PC, so I'm going to go to Edit and Preferences. Whoops, they're on a different screen. So when they come up, I'm going to go to the Performance tab. And then in the Develop area, I've got Enable Hover Previews of Presets in Loop. If this isn't ticked, then you won't be able to use the previews. OK, I'll just click OK to get rid of that. OK. Now, nothing here, here seems to have changed in the panels, but obviously the image has changed. And this is the effect of the masks. So if I want to see those and change them, then I've got to go to the little mask icon in the little toolbar at the top. Click on that. And you can see now that the masks appear. And if I just show you there, that's the, the bottom mask that's been created. And that's the top mask that's been created. There we go. Now I can now click on each and any of these masks. So I can click on, say, the foreground darken uh, and I can change it. I could lighten it up or darken it down. So I can you can tailor these now and save them out as your own presets. And I could say, well, I want to lighten the sky a little bit more Then I can lighten the sky after clicking on the actual mask itself. Now, as you can see, you can stack masks. So if I wanted to add another mask to this, let's say I wanted foreground impact to add a little bit of, of oomph. I could click on that and it brings up the foreground impact mask. Uh, and if we just look at that, if I turn that on and off, we can see that that mask is now adding a little bit of oomph to that image. Now, masks can be deleted. If I say this foreground impact one, I don't want now, I can go to the three little dots and I can delete foreground impact. There they go, that's that one gone. If I wanted to delete all the masks, then I could click on one of the masks, go to the three little dots and delete all masks. Or I can go down to the bottom of the panel where it says delete all masks. And there they were, gone. And we're back to the start. Now, a couple of things to remember is that presets are specific to how they've been created. Uh, and what I mean by that is if you use a sky preset on an image, then the image must have a sky in it for it to be detected. If there's no sky, then it won't work. Let's try that on another image just to show you. If we go here, we've got this bird in flight and there's no sky. So if I go and try something that has sky in it, you can see it's trying to detect it. That little thing came at the bottom. But if I try a sky preset now and say, let's try that one, it comes up with no sky detected. 
Now don't forget that any preset is not the end point. It's to get you to say 90% of the way quickly. And then you can finish it off at your leisure. So let's just get rid of that and we'll delete all their masks. And then we'll try this one. This is an object, so I'll go into my KF AI objects and I'll brighten subject, darken background. And here we've got now it's it's created the bright and the subject and then it's inverted that mask to do the background. And now what I can do, I can work on each of these masks individually. So I can click on darken background and I can play around with that to darken it or lighten it. I can play around with brighten the subject by moving a few sliders. Um, or I can close that panel altogether and I can go back to me global adjustments and I can play here with the highlights for the whole image and the shadows for the whole image. Well, that's a quick run through of how to use the new AI presets in Lightroom Classic. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment. It really would be appreciated. Okay, I'll see you in the very next video. Bye for now.